Hello, what's up? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm just chilling here before going to school and I've had this idea in my head for quite a while now and I've been debating whether it's a good idea or a terrible idea and you probably already know what it is from the title and if this video is out, obviously I decided to go with it but since I'm in between jobs right now, I thought I'd just try something completely different. It's Halloween and this is the second time I've been in Japan during Halloween season and Don Quixote always has a wide selection of costumes. They have a wide selection of costumes outside of Halloween but right now they have a lot. They have like random, funny, cute, sexy, like all the, all the costumes and I thought it might be a good idea for me to try some of them. I thought it might be funny. Why would this be a terrible idea? Obviously because I have to spend money that I don't have. In order to make a video, that might not actually make me any money, like maybe like two euros compared to the maybe 50 euros I'm gonna have to spend at Don Quixote for these, for these cheap costumes, not cheap in price, cheap in, in, in quality. But yeah, I've been thinking that I wanna do that. I mean, why not? It is the time of the year. I did do that kind of um, anime schoolgirl cosplay. I am not a cosplayer. I do not want to go on to that cosplay territory. I'm no pro. I just want to do this for fun because I thought it would be funny and things are probably not going to fit me because I am a very tall girl. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, wow, top lighting, totally unflattering. Yo, it's been a long day. It's like 9.30 p.m. Yeah, it's 9.30 p.m. Top lighting isn't really working, but I, I do, I'm too curious. I want to open up what I bought at Don Quixote. I might even give it a try on, but given the fact that I am crapped out. I'm super tired right now. <laughs> the top lighting sucks. It might be a reshoot kind of situation. But yeah, I definitely, I got some things. Honestly, I want to try everything uh, at Don Quixote. I want to try all the costumes, but I was really surprised at the prices. I didn't remember that the prices of the, those, I keep calling them costumes. Is it, is it this, 
is it the right name for it? Costume? Disguises. Costume, disguise, Halloween costume. It's costume, right? This is how tired I am. Anyway, um, they had such a big selection. I feel like maybe because it was Akihabara, they had even more than what I remember. Maybe I need to go back and check out the Don Quixote in Asakusa because that's where I bought my very first costume. Anyway, I feel like the Don Quixote in Akihabara, if you go to the fifth floor, they have like a whole section dedicated to costumes, as like specifically made costumes, but they still have a whole wide range of things that I want to try so much. There are some that are like close to a like um a hundred dollars. Like the more sophisticated one are closer to the to the one hundred hundred dollar mark. And I think the cheaper ones are around $25, I believe, with conversion rate. Obviously, the game is super low right now, which is probably why I'm allowing myself to make such purchases just for content. Anyway, let's go, let's go get these, uh, these things. And the first one, obviously, I wanted to try is a maid costume. This is one size because it's one of the cheaper ones. So there's a good chance it won't fit me at all, but um, of course I really wanted to try a maid uniform and they had a few and this one actually looks pretty cute. Obviously it's like sexy and everything and I think this is gonna be like completely see-through. Um, and this is the model is um, 160 centimeters tall, so this this dress is gonna be probably above butt level for me so this is gonna be fun to try that's what i got is also they had so many kinds for this one so it was hard to choose which one i was gonna go for but i went for the gym one i went for the pe uniform obviously it's like really like does anyone actually wear these for pe in in japan i'm not sure uh, they had, like I said, they had different kinds, some that looked more like shorts, but the quality looks kind of shit. This is um, M size, so there's a chance it will fit me. There's a chance it won't fit me at all. That's the whole point of the video. But honestly, the from what I see, the fabric seems, it seems like, it seems like I'm looking forward to try these. And as a bonus, I went to Family Mart and I got the Family Mart socks. So I can have a little uh, set here, a little, <laughs> it goes well together. And last but not least, I got something sexy. I wanted like the really sexy costumes, but they like, those cost legitimately like a hundred dollars. I could not go for this. I could not go for it. So I just went for this little cute bunny uh night dress so it has like the uh, which what size did i choose oh m thank god like ooh, this is not gonna fit me anyway um it comes with a little, cute little bunny top and a cute little bunny shorts and um i don't know i just i wanted to buy something a little more skimpy and cute actually it doesn't have any of the accessories which is fine i thought it would at least have the joker but i don't think it has I just wanted to test the quality of the Don Quixote lingerie so yeah I think some of these might have to be Patreon only depending on how revealing they are for YouTube but we shall see and why aren't you in uniform? It's about Whoa. you got here! Mate! <laughs> this is kind of awkward Twin Tails is not a hairstyle that it really suits my face shape, so um, I'm aware of it, <laughs> okay? But I wanted to do like the whole outfit, and surprisingly, I'm finding this really, really adorable. Um, I don't know, I'm, like I'm fully, I'm fully invested. I'm fully in the role. Um, like you put on the costume, and it's like, even though like, yes, the quality is the same, exact same quality as my little. Um, school anime school girl costume like you already have threads coming out and it's kind of like you know napkins napkin quality but otherwise i mean it's really cute the fit it's 
large here but then of course it's really short yeah i have worn things this short but this is like kind of pushing it i'm having to wear like little black shorts underneath so i know that if i bend over like everything is gonna be on display but yeah, obviously it, it's a little cheap made costume but i think the design is really cute i've never worn something like this in my life so of course i'm like yay thrill frilly i love these i've always loved um puffy sleeves since i am a tall girl i'm always afraid that's gonna give me like too much uh shoulder like too much width but i don't know what do you think obviously they had like better quality main costumes like a lot of different designs some that were the same price as this but just looked very plain so i think i'm happy with my choice for my little first for my first little um costume i think it's a Adorable. I would never wear it anywhere, unfortunately. If I think even like to a costume party, I think it's it's a little too short to be like I don't know. I wonder if this is see-through. I'm wearing a a, a nude colored uh, undergarment right now, so I wonder if this is see-through. Who knows? But yeah, here we go. I dressed up as a maid for the first time. Yay! Oh god, I know I'm like doing this for content, but I'm low-key having a lot of fun doing it. Let me know your score for this, and uh, would you pick me as your server at a maid cafe? Sporty mode activated. <laughs> I generally like this. Um, the t-shirt quality with the little name tag, it's not that bad, I'm not gonna lie. I like the cut, I like... the quality is... is decent i would actually wear this i think i would genuinely wear this unironically as a look not with these though like definitely not with these but <laughs> the shirt by itself i would wear it it's got a little bit of a tiny crop so i guess it's not gonna be a winter thing for me anytime soon but i i'm enjoying this little thing what i'm not enjoying though are these friggin weird i don't even know what this fabric is to be honest like not even swimsuit fabric <laughs> i don't think i don't think um high school girls wear this kind of cut i don't know i know nothing don't quote me but this is like very revealing i'm sure like if i had to like shoot some hoops or run a marathon that fabric would be wedged up inside me for sure so that uh, i'm definitely not enjoying uh this is why it's cut here because uh yeah it's a little it's a little bit too revealing maybe on patreon there'll be a lower cut but still i i i have not really worked out in the past six months since moving to japan so um i kind of got a little bit of a flat pancake butt going on so um yeah i'm not gonna be like yay look at my pancake butt everybody yeah again tell me what you guys think let me see how low i can go with this uh with le these little this little uh how do you call it taika taika pe costume i personally like this part uh i think it's a little bit see-through it looks like it might be a little see-through here not sure yeah maybe a little gotta be careful with that if i do wear it casually i'm curious to know which one you prefer so far the maid costume this one or the one that's coming next yeah wow like i said with the maid costume like you put it on and your mood switches like you become that character now i feel like this really sporty energetic girl like yay <laughs> <laughs> cringing at myself again yeah let's let's continue cringing together <laughs> hang on hang on i forgot to mention the family mart socks yay yay <laughs> this one is super super cute but it's the cute slash sexy kind which is why i'm kind of hiding um but you can see this little bunny ear right here on the strap it's really adorable and there's another feature that i can show you is this little 
this little pom pom <laughs> it's so cute i wish i had little bunny ears to complete the outfit but overall it's completely see-through except for the cups which are an m but i feel are too floaty for me but i think maybe if there was a way to tighten it at the back they would fit just right but since they're just they're just adjustable with these little flimsy things uh they're a little bit floaty on me but overall they're so cute uh because it's completely see-through like the bottoms are like no zero coverage like <laughs> you can see everything i'm gonna keep this outfit for a patreon only because i think it's a little bit too sexy for youtube at least for my my channel what i'm willing to show also um i have a little bit of a complex i mean it's silly it's my own complex but this area of mine is really bony like my sternum area i have parts of my body which are for some reason really bonier than it should be like my spine is really visible and this area is especially bony so i'm a little bit like um uh, it's not like my favorite part to show so i'd rather just keep this for patreon but overall it's really really cute the quality i mean it's just like transparent fabric i don't know if i can like how much i can show like this is part of the top like completely see through and the entire thing is made of this but overall i'm happy i tried like this thing out like it's not really a costume it's more like sexy nightwear kind of thing a pajama party maybe kind of uh kind of vibe but uh yeah overall really cute i think i would actually i would actually use this if i wanted like a sexy pair of pajamas sometime yeah this this one is not going to waste so um this was not in the costume section i don't i don't think i got this in the costume section i think it was in the underwear slash lingerie section of the akihabara don quixote so if you're looking they have different kinds like little animal kind of things i think they had like kind of more like my melody kind of thing or maybe like a teddy i don't remember exactly i'm filming this almost a week since i bought this yeah overall i'm pretty happy with my haul i'm gonna put an extended version on patreon where there's a little bit of a try on with more commentary like the first time i tried the clothes on um and uh let, like little bonus clips like with these or maybe extra photos and stuff so if you want to join the team and get that little bit extra juicy content uh, head on to patreon it's kind of odd finishing the video with this little skimpy outfit on but i hope you enjoyed it if you want me to try on some more donkey costumes please um like do everything to boost this video up that way i know that it's something that you like and if this video does really well maybe it will give me the revenue to try in some more donkey costumes and if there are costumes that you really really want me to try on just let me know in the comments uh yeah thank you for watching this is kind of an awkward video for me to make but we'll see how it goes i'm curious to see if i'm gonna get like completely booed off the internet or I don't know, maybe it could work. I'm ready for both. So yeah, let's do this. Bring it on. <laughs> okay, see you in the next one. Uh, I think the next one might be a travel vlog. So I uh, look forward to that one. I don't know when it'll come out because I'm so pretty, but yeah. I'll work you all. Bye.